Hello and welcome to Empress Moon Tarot 777. My name is Kimmy. I'm very happy to have you here at my channel today. Now before I move on, for those of you that don't like the fact that I talk a lot, go ahead and fast forward on over to the reading. But I would like to introduce what we're going to be talking about for those of you that wish to stay through it. So this is the Sagittarius Full Moon Lunar Cycle reading. So this particular reading goes from the time of the full moon all the way to the new moon. And so it's more of kind of like an internal reading. It's from me to you regarding things like what you need to release, what you should be focused on, how you can manifest more in your life during this lunar cycle, and what potentially could come from the lunar cycle for your sign. Now, each of these signs is for sun, moon, and rising, and some of you got lucky enough to get Venus signs as well. There was some love readings in there, um, so do keep that in mind. There were some that had absolutely zero to do with love, um, entirely career-focused, perfectly fine. It's whatever spirit felt you needed to have at this time. Now, I did set my intention with spirit that I was not going to take any jumper cards, and if any jumper cards came out, I would handle them separate from the readings. So, got to tell you, there were a few of you that had a couple cards. But there were two of you that decided you were going to be ultimately the most expressive of the two. It was almost like a war between the two signs. Libra won out, card after card after card after card after card. Now, I have Libra, Libra rising, so, you know, I certainly enjoyed, you know, kind of seeing all the new cards. Um, but if you are dealing with somebody who is a Libra or has a Libra in their chart, definitely check out the Libra reading. Now, for those of you that are dealing with Scorpios or have Scorpio in your chart and you're dealing with a love situation, I'm just a wee bit jealous of you. Just a wee bit jealous of you. That was quite the reading. So do check that one out. For those of you that don't know your birth chart placements, I will put a link down below to Cafe Astrology. I'm required to tell you that I am not sponsored by this site whatsoever. It is a free link to a free report and hopefully it will be of help to you. So before I move over to the reading, a brief moment of thanks for all of you who are, are visiting my channel today. Whether you are a new subscriber, an old subscriber, or somebody who's been visiting anonymously for a while, or somebody who's just found me today here on YouTube. I'm truly happy to have you here. I'd also like to thank all of you that have ordered personal readings, extended readings, donated to the channel, or donated during live readings. Truly appreciate it. Hope you all are blessed mightily for the blessing that you gave to me. Now, without any further ado, let's hop on over to your reading. Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Reading for the Sagittarius Full Moon. I included Venus sign because we seem to be getting a lot of love information in here. So, um, just including that just in case. So, we're going to start with our good tarot. Let's see, what is Taurus focused on during this full moon cycle? What is Taurus focused on during the full moon cycle? What is Taurus focused on during this full moon cycle? The two of fire. That's our two of wands. Two of wands. Oh, with our two of wands, this is, you know, taking a look at your future, or two of fire, I'm sorry. Taking a look at your future, trying to determine which direction you're going to go in, um, coming up with creative ideas on how to get there, sort of, you know, possibly doing some mind mapping, things of that nature, trusting in the direction even though you can't really see how you're going to get there. Um, you can only see a little bit in front of you. But being inspired, being inspired to take some sort of action to create your future, to bring about some sort of goal, some sort of plan, something that you're going to be rather excited about. It's quite beautiful. Okay, what does Taurus need to release during this full moon cycle? What does Taurus need to release during this full moon cycle? Seven of Pentacles. Whatever you've been waiting on, especially with our Two of Fire here, um, as your overall focus, it's time to take action. 
it's time to stop sitting back and waiting and it's time to take action. Um, there's something that you've just been, you know, kind of hoping it would work itself out and now is the time for you to do something about it. What does Taurus need to work on during this full moon cycle? Page of Pentacles, there may be somebody that you need to apologize to. Um, our Page of Pentacles, uh, that's our messenger. It's our messenger of a new opportunity. You may have received word or will receive word of a brand new opportunity in the next couple weeks. And it's going to be real important when you hear about this to really take a look at it and see if it's if it's a direction that you want to go in that aligns with with this two of wands energy. Um, really examine the opportunity. Take a look at any kind of fine print. Ask a lot of questions. Map everything out like we were saying, and really put a strong focus on you know is this the right thing for me at this point in time. Um, is this really the direction I want to be going in? Is it going to have a positive impact upon my life? That sort of thing. Okay, how should Taurus use this full moon cycle to manifest in their life? Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Social friendly energy. If you're trying to bring something um, into your life right now, Taurus, it looks like you know it's possible that your friends are going to help you in this situation it's also possible that you may gain inspiration from people that you meet just out and about so it's really important for you to be friendly um, have a very open sort of um, personality when you're greeting people so that you can kind of see different viewpoints there's a, a charismatic quality to the queen of wands where you're being told that in order to manifest whatever it is that you want in your life, it looks like it's going to involve other people because of how social this is. It's possible that when you're out and about, you might meet just the right people to help create something in your, in your life, to help build a business, to help start a new project, things of that nature. Okay, what will this full moon cycle bring to Taurus? Queen of Cups. Unconditional love. Self-love. This could be a person in your life. Queen of Cups is uh, very loving, very nurturing, very kind, filled with unconditional love wears her heart on her sleeve. This could be you or it could be another person. It does not have to be a female. It could be a male or female. Um, I, I feel like during this full moon cycle, as, you, as you're dealing with this, you know, potential new opportunity and all these directions that you are considering going in, uh, it seems that you're going to also be taking some time to work on you because our Queen of Cups is often associated with self-love as well and um, nurturing your soul. I feel like this there's some sort of big project, some, some very um, large idea that you have here, Taurus, something that you're very excited about and enthusiastic about. And during this, this full moon cycle, I feel as if you're going to be, it's going to be nurturing your soul. Internally, it's like, this is exactly what I needed, exactly at this point in time in my life. This is exactly the direction I wanna go in etc. So I'm not really feeling love here. Um, if it is a love situation, you know, this is a person who, who has those traits. They may be coming along into your world in the next couple weeks if they're not already in it. But I'm feeling more like this is this is a self self-love type of energy. As a result of all this creativity, all this planning, all of the all this excitement about moving towards this new project, this new goal, this new thing. So let's see what love is bringing you. Okay, what can Taurus expect with regards to love in this full moon cycle? Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Not liking that, not really seeing any like negative 
cards here. Um, so this may not be for everybody. I am going to go ahead and take another one because this is kind of an anomaly. does not match our reading at all. Um, addictions are affecting your romantic life. This could be, you know, alcohol, drugs. It could be, you know, gambling, sex addiction. It could be codependency on a person as well. That, you know, there's a real clingy kind of energy there. Taurus, 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 Taurus. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. This could be anything associated with a preconceived notion that you've had as a result of your childhood, the you know your religious upbringing, things of that nature. Um, so the two, you and your love interest, Taurus, could have different religious views. Um, you could be different ages, different races. You could be, you know, different, uh, different, different social status within society, things of that nature. You know, if somebody is dealing with, you know, an, a substance abuse issue, and the there's also a uh, very strong religious element here that is opposed to that. This could also, these two also could go very much hand in hand. So that's a kind of a difficult energy there, um, Taurus. So it could be related to somebody's belief system as well, you know, overall beliefs. So that's what I have for you for this full moon cycle, Taurus. I, I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. There is a very strong creative energy, mind mapping. I'm really feeling like somebody needs to do some mind mapping. If you're not familiar with mind mapping and you've got like a goal that's, that's um, you know, or some sort of passion project that you're just really excited about working on, um, I recommend, you know, looking into mind mapping, maybe doing some mind mapping because that's what I'm getting with this particular card is, you know, that creative process in coming up with a plan on how to, how to achieve your goal, how to bring a, bring this into fruition. So it looks like it's quite exciting, Taurus. I hope you have an absolutely beautiful couple weeks, and I'll see you again at your next reading. Bye-bye. Thank you so very much for stopping by my channel and watching this reading. I hope it was of help to you. If for some reason you found that it did not resonate, do be sure to check back as time passes between now and the new moon to see if it's something that's going to be occurring as time passes. If you found that nothing resonated, check your other birth chart placements for additional information. Sometime I'll be, sometimes I'll be connecting more to your sun, sun sign, other times your moon, others your rising. If you found that nothing resonated with you, check back later, but do check out some of the other wonderful tarot readers up here on YouTube. I'm very happy to be in this space with them and I'm sure that somebody will be connecting with your energy. So thank you very much for stopping by. While you're here, please be sure to click the like button so that this video can get out to others who may be in need of it. I truly appreciate your assistance there. And also be sure to comment and share. I read each and every one of your comments. I truly, truly enjoy connecting with you and I respond as soon as I'm able. So let's connect some more via our comments down below and I hope that you have an absolutely fabulous rest of the week, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.